Hey guys, Chris here. Today we're gonna to take a look at my day pack and what I bring. I brought a lot of stuff and you don't need everything that I'm showing you, but there's definitely some things you're gonna to wanna to take along. That's next. Hey guys, Chris here. So I got a lot to go over today with in regards to day hiking and all the gear that I bring. I don't, like I said, I don't necessarily bring all of this all the time. It depends on conditions. It depends on how far I'm going. Depends on what time of year. It depends on what part of the world I'm in. So, but you, a lot of considerations, but there's a lot of things that you want to bring and you want to definitely like a spare tire in your car. It's just there waiting for you and you don't think about it. Nobody goes to work and goes, oh yeah, let me throw in the spare tire before I go to work because I may need it today. And tomorrow I won't need it. So no, no, no. You pack those things like a first aid kit. Just put them in your day pack and just forget about them until you need them. Hopefully you won't need it, so. Okay, so let's just take it from the top. I think it's really important that you wear a wide brim type hat. This happens to be the Outdoor research hat. It's a good wide brim, breathable, all like that. I'm not gonna get into prices and weights and look, all these things, but just get yourself a wide brim hat. The, the uh, ball caps, they don't protect your ears, your neck, most of your face, and this will give you the best shot to uh, avoid getting sunburnt and worse. So uh, I also wear microfiber shirts. This is, I think, an athletic brand from Walmart, eight bucks, breathable, quick dry, UV protection, and uh, they come in long sleeve, wherever you can get microfiber type shirts. Don't get cotton, cotton is rotten, cotton doesn't work for you, it gets wet and you're just gonna stay sticky and sweaty the whole time, not, not good. Uh, I got Wrangler men's hiking pants, zippered pockets, uh, quick, again, quick dry UV protection, very comfortable, it's like a flexible material, $21.92 at most Walmarts. Uh, check online, um, and multiple colors. Uh, I got my Merrill Moab 2 hiking shoes here, kind of a mid-height uh, hiking boot, lightweight. Get yourself some kind of a hiking boot. Don't go with canvas tennis shoes, Converse or something like that. You need some kind of ankle support, some kind of good traction tread, obviously. Um, just just kind of some obvious things. I like uh, trekking poles. This one's a really good one. It's a trail buddy, has a cork handle. This is one thing you really want to get in trekking poles is the flip lock like that. I'm just a big believer in the flip lock you can adjust it here with the wheel get the tension just right otherwise you're threading on the uh, ring like that and those don't always handle the weight they'll sometimes collapse down on you so get yourself some trekking poles you won't regret it especially coming down a steep slope rocky gravelly there's many times I've slipped and then caught myself with my trekking poles especially when you got a pack on even a day pack can give you enough weight to knock you on your back so Good thing to get. So I have my Osprey Manta 24. This is my really my go-to pack. I also have an Osprey Talon 20, 22 that I like uh, for different reasons. This is very comparable to the Osprey Stratos 24. Similar, different in many ways. I've done a video on comparing these two. But I like these a lot, a lot of pockets, a lot of things going on. And, but just get a pack that you're really happy with, with multiple pockets and you kind of envision it doing things for you, giving you a space to put the things that you want to bring with you. Okay, so I like a pack that has the uh, hydration reservoir in it. The uh, Manta has one right here. It actually has a separate compartment for it. I really like that. Uh, gives you that option at least to bring water in the hydration reservoir. You can just get a lot more water in these than a couple of bottles. So good thing to have. Obviously the hose comes around. I like that a lot. This one's a two liter. 
for day hiking and overnight backpacking i really like the outside cargo this happens to have an outside cargo I like that a lot um, i got my bear spray attached to the back here good thing to have in bear country this one happens to be frontier pepper spray good thing to have uh, in case you encounter wildlife that you don't want to deal with there you go it gives you something to work with there always bring a good map even though you have it apps and gps things like that i bring good maps always and uh, a compass i happen to have a compass on my cell phone i did not bring my compass today um, but there is a compass on the phone here always bring a regular compass as well but this works really good i love that that's just a regular iphone so compass i also bring a life straw these are really helpful uh you just find any water source and uh, you can just drink right out of it i love that life straw they're about uh, 12 14 bucks and it's really it's a portable water filter you can just drink right out of there you do have to saturate it soak it in the water and then it works really great so uh, good thing to have you're hiking you get low on your water and you're maybe five miles from the car and uh, you just don't want to filter water or you don't you don't have any water you can just at least keep yourself hydrated to get back to the car so quick light easy way to do that I bring an emergency backup blanket this is the SOL <laughs> SOL that's funny uh, you're you could be sol if you don't have this he doesn't look very happy he looks a little sol doesn't he but good thing to have this is one of those uh, spare tire things you just keep in your pack and you never know if you might need it uh, i don't know if i would enjoy a night with this but i would rather have this than nothing so especially in the day pack good thing to have i like to bring a small tripod when i go backpacking just to take some pictures obviously this is not a necessity this is not a life-saving device but uh, then you don't have to take your phone and lean it up against a rock or on a tree branch or something and then have it fall and get destroyed. Look at that. This works really nice. Uh, this one happens to be the Monfrato. Can't remember what I paid for it, but that's just a good thing. You want to do a gr nice group shot at the end of your hike at the top of the peak or wherever you're going at the lake. Good thing to have. I really like things like that and uh, then you want if you want to do a self timer you, you know do the self timer and then you can just walk in front of it and voila I got some nice pics for uh, Instagram and Facebook so I always bring some kind of a headlamp if you get out after dark uh, maybe you got a hike in the dark for one hour or something but even that it's good to have a headlight just to see what the heck is going on this happens to be the Fenix and this is the uh, what is the name this is the h hm 65 rt this is their new one 1500 lumens it's a, a truck headlight but get yourself some kind of a headlight just to throw in there keep in there plus if you go in the in a place where there's maybe caves or something or a little canyon it's good to be able to see you just never know good thing to have also when i day hike i bring something like a spot x this is a gps navigation it has a way to communicate i can uh, text my girlfriend from anywhere on earth except for a couple of places in the middle of the pacific ocean it does have an sos button right here i would uh not i would not click that but there it is you can press that if you get in an emergency i pay a monthly subscription i think it's 14 dollars 50 cents and uh it'll track your progress communicate give you some map coordinates things like that and i obviously got a little keyboard there this works good for me for right now i like that uh, i also keep this charged with something like the black web power bank uh, i like to carry this for backpacking as well as day packing uh, it obviously depends on how far i go if i'm just going a half mile to a waterfall i don't need to bring a big power bank and then i can charge my phone as well take my pictures uh, and then have something to call when I get back to the trailhead if I need to make a phone call to people or anything like that good things to have also with the phone I like to do kayaking and so I get something like this this is called the, the Jato waterproof phone carrier bag whatever you want to call it and that works great this thing seals right inside here 
<clears throat> see that and then now that's waterproof and then you can just wear this around your neck when you're uh, canoeing kayaking fishing things like that working around a lake walking around a lake or something it's a good thing to have don't want to lose your phone also I bring a one or two 32 ounce water bottles depending on how far I go these were a great nice wide mouth on them uh, easy to fill easy to drink out of I also will pick up now and then a smart water bottle these are like a dollar and uh, this one's a 33.8 ounces to fill that up but good thing to have also when I'm out day hiking obviously backpacking as well I'll bring ways to make a fire really good to have um, I always carry it in a Ziploc bag uh, I bring a lighter just never know if there's an emergency you need to make a quick campfire and you're out for a few hours longer than you want to be or a storm comes up or whatever uh, waterproof windproof stormproof matches these work really great I like these a lot um, like that you light and then they will not go out watch this you can dunk them in water <laughs> and good thing to have stormproof matches also comes in a box like that that's like I guess a refill box so good thing to have and then I also bring a ferro rod this is something that's new a magnesium ferro rod this is a way to make fire with sparks and I use and it's really easy to work with you just got to be a little bit patient with it but I use dryer lint that stuff that stuff is highly flammable and you get some sparks on that with one of these that's a good quick way to make a fire really with fire starter material like this um, it just doesn't take up a lot of room in your pack it's really a good idea to have things can change and it's just good to have some backups like that so also I bring a knife um, I got a few knives this is a Gerber pair frame it's nice to have a knife Swiss Army knife is also good you got many options with that but bring yourself some kind of a small knife again doesn't take up much room and just kind of throw it in your pack when you need it you're really happy you got it also one other thing that I bring is um, carabiners small ones big ones and then I can simply click uh, attach this to the back and I can hang a couple things off my pack if I need to but it's good to have a couple carabiners in your backpack uh, there's some mini ones you can hang these on the straps on the back of the pack here see like that you could hang clips like that hang things like that so nice thing to have up here I got a nice little pocket for the sunglasses and I bring a glasses case it's just a good idea easier to find your glasses protects them a little bit if you're not using them and you can just stick that in they don't have to get scratched up by all the equipment around them good thing to have also number one thing to bring tissue Kleenex toilet paper TP whatever you want to call it I like these little packets they're really condensed and I like to keep them dry so I just carry them in a Ziploc bag and uh, but yeah you can get a 10 pack of these at like the dollar store well for a dollar <laughs> I think it's a 10 pack maybe it's a five pack but def definitely throw some of those in your pack uh, down here I bring if I'm in bug country something like muscle insect repellent lotion uh, depends on where you live you know but good thing to have if you need it um, also I bring uh, a little Germax wash my clean my hands up you know you get dirty if you go fishing you want to keep your hands clean also with something like fishing um, you could bring camp suds this works really well it's a little bit of a bigger bottle but you know you want to keep those hands not smelling like a rainbow trout <laughs> especially in bear country also uh, bring yourself 
sunscreen absolutely uh, this happens to be a 50 I think I got this at a dollar store so wow but always throw in the sunscreen you will never regret that one for sure and then on the inside here this is something like I said this is your spare tire here throw it in forget about it uh, Walmart first aid kit and this this has a lot of stuff in it I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you get the idea. It's a first aid kit. Um, you know, I got some different gauze pads and compress there, band aids, uh, ibuprofen, um, hand sanitizers, just uh, antibiotic ointment for cuts, abrasions, things like that. So definitely bring your first aid kit. Make one, throw it in a Ziploc bag if you don't want a big little suitcase like that <laughs> that's fine but just bring have something to work with in case something you know something goes wrong you got some some tools to work with so to speak so the other thing that I bring oh here's like a mini first aid kit I don't know how effective this is it's mostly band-aids and some gauze but uh, you know I think that was like two bucks maybe less uh, I got a B and bite and sting kit actually my mom sent me this she's always worried about snakes and so I agree though the snakes are a very real thing and what you do with something like this this is an extractor it'll ex extract the venom out off of your out of the, the bite and so let's say and look at the different sizes here we have different sizes for different things like a bee sting uh, a small snake a large snake let's say there's a large snake and I will take this thing put it on like that draw it out like that and what's cool is I don't I, I just I just actually I just push it in let me show you how this works put it on my arm and then I just wait put it on my arm right there there see that it sucks <sighs> It sucks the uh, the venom out, and you gotta let's try it again. There we go. Look at that. Look at that suction. It's sucking the venom out for, uh, and you gotta read the instructions, kind of figure it all out. But good thing to have in case you get bit by something. You can a spider, a scorpion, a snake, rattlesnakes. Obviously, you can suck that venom right out of your body. With the extractor there's obviously a process for doing this uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of alcohol to clean your arm up and sting relief things like that but really good to have uh, band-aids um, but you know things happen and you want to be prepared for it so I like keeping this with me at all times as well so a bite and sting kit I also bring the Sawyer Squeeze on longer hikes. Uh, good thing to have, again, this is the best one to get. There's the Sawyer Mini, and there's a Mini right there. They're just not as effective. They're harder to, to draw water through the flow there like that. And this is not much bigger, but it's just way more effective. It's just the Sawyer Squeeze is what they call it. and works really well again you've got to take this thing you hook it up like this and let's see we hook it up back here and there we go and then we put, draw water out of the creek river lake and put it in here put it over here thread that on and then you hold that up like that almost like an IV right and then you then you open this cap up and then you literally can squeeze the bag into your water bottle right there you just hold this over the water bottle like that but there you go the Sawyer the Sawyer squeeze really good one to have 29 bucks kind of thing but you know you're out there hiking and that water runs out and uh, you're gonna wish you had it because dehydration is really for me and many people is the number one thing you really got to be fighting is dehydration 
and what can happen with that. So soy your squeeze or some kind of way to filter your water. Sometimes I'll bring my pad here. There we go. This is the Thermarest Z seat. Really nice to have your uh, day pack, day hiking, and you know, you just want to sit down, enjoy your quick lunch, sit on top of the peak or sit by the creek or whatever. Really lightweight. You can pack that on the outside easily. So I'll bring that sometimes. Again, this is not like life or death if you don't bring the Thermarest Z seat, but that's uh, something you could bring. Uh, also, I'll have a microfiber towel that I could bring if I needed it. Uh, again, say like you're fishing and you get uh, fish smell on your hands, you could wash it with the camp suds, dry it with this, go swimming, you got a little towel to work with, good thing to have. Uh, sometimes I'll bring a pillow, mini pillow, if I, this is again not a, not a necessity, but a little mini pillow if you want to take a nap. I sometimes will actually take a nap in the woods. Just a 10 minute snoozer there, it's good, it's kind of fun. They're so lightweight and small nowadays between things like uh, the Rugged Camp, Trekology. Oh, <laughs> it took off on <laughs> Right when I said lightweight, it flew away like a balloon. But uh, these were, these are very nice. Um, and then you can, you know, maybe put your, put your Z seat under it so it doesn't pop. I don't know, but this is supposed to be pretty durable. But anyways, you get to bring a pillow if you wanted to. You, you never know. I, I like it occasionally, so. Uh, also, I usually have some kind of a rain jacket. This is a little bit of a heavier one. Um, but if it's spring season and looks like could be some weather in the forecast, yeah, throw in a rain jacket. I also have a windproof uh, North Face jacket that I bring. Really, this thing has got a hood on it, little little like visor on it, a couple of a zippered zippered pocket right there. I like that, and this will you know wad up pretty pretty small for a for a nice shell jacket. Really, really good thing to have. Um, if you're up on a ridge or something, wind kicks up. You throw that on, and then underneath it, you have your, you know, down puffy type jacket, packable, lightweight, pretty small, but these, they, they are really nice to have. Weather changes on you, and all of a sudden it's cold. You know, when you're hiking, a lot of times you're at different elevations, and, you know, you just want to be prepared for things to change. Never look outside and say, oh, I only need my shorts and my baseball hat because it's going to be nice all day. You don't know that for sure. So I also bring either a bandana, which, you know, around my neck, around my head, multi-use. You can do a lot of things with that, as well as a buff. These are stretchable, flexible. They just print on this. So it looks like the same type of thing as the bandana pattern there, but this... This happens, but that goes well on your neck. The multi-uses for that, um, headband, uh, other other things, but really works great. Headband, neckband, protect your neck from uh, the sun, cold. Put it around your head, keep warm. But I like having like a buff or a bandana. What else we got in here? Also a um, some kind of a knitted hat if it's the shoulder seasons. Well, obviously, if it's July, it's going to be 90 or something. You're not going to need a hat, but good thing to throw in there um, if you need it. And I got gaiters here. I like my gaiters. Um, if you're in rough country, good thing to have. You know, a thick brush, sage brush, and uh, this will protect your legs. And in the winter, keep the snow off your, your boots and stuff like that. So, so uh, this is outdoor research. Gators are a good thing to have. For sure, they got different size. They got the sizes that just a little bit above your ankles, not too much farther. But So I also like a pack that has a rain cover. This one happens to have, the Manta 24 happens to have a rain cover on the back here. For the pack again rain kicks up and i'm covered i got rain jacket i got a hat i got my my uh down jacket my buff 
and I'm set. Or just pack it all away, so there you go. Also when I'm day hiking, bring a lot of snacks. Here's some uh, freeze-dried raspberries. These are fairly decent. Here's freeze-dried mixed fruit. Um, I forget what this stuff looks like. But there it is, some freeze-dried fruit. Good little snack there. And I got some uh, gently dried organic fruit right here. Just different things. I go to the dollar store. You get trail mix there for, well, a buck. <laughs> Cliff bars. These things are fairly indestructible. Kind bars. And uh, things like that. Also, one of the things that I like to do is take a little packet of protein here, get some chunk light tuna, all kinds of variations on this. There's like like a dollar, 75 cents for that. Here's a little packet, built-in packet. Pick up some small tortillas, like the mini ones. And then what you want to do is get mayonnaise packets. I don't have a mayonnaise packet. I put some in a Ziploc, but you can go to like a mini mart where they have the hot dogs and the hamburgers and things like that by the coffee or whatever and get little mayonnaise packets and obviously put these three together and you got yourself a nice little meal here. Look at that. A little protein. Get the knife out and just spread some of this on there. Voila, we got ourselves a nice little quick meal. Clean that up, obviously. I'm doing this pretty quick here, but look at that. Now we got a nice little tuna taco right there. Quick protein. It's almost like lunch. And uh, so you don't have to eat trail bars all day long. So I like to do that. You can see the size of these things. They're pretty small. You just bring a couple, two or three. Share them if you got some extra their friend or something but yeah good way to good little meal to have on the trail so all right guys <clears throat> that's the gear i carry in my day pack and uh i don't obviously don't carry all of it all the time but give me some options when i need them and uh, definitely some things you want to keep in there at all times so hey thanks for watching we'll see you next time like and subscribe and all like that and as always, thanks for watching and keep hiking.